All right, so you're looking at a quadratic. The reason why you're looking at a quadratic is there's a power of 2. That's the highest power. And this whole equation says equals 0. So you've got a few options about how to solve this. Uh, 1 is to factor. 2 is the quadratic formula. And uh, 3, you can complete the square. For me, whenever I see there's a value out here in front of the, S, or the x squared or the variable squared, I just jump straight to this quadratic formula. I don't fool with trying to complete the square factor. I found that if I'm, I'm, if I can do the quadratic formula just as quick as I can factor. So your a value is 8. Your b value is always in front of the plane variable, which is 34 here. And then the c rail is negative 9. And it, remember, it has to say equal zero. Now, if you use if, if you use the quadratic formula, the quadratic formula says that the x equals, or in this case, s equals negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's all over 2a. So the variable is equal to this right here if it says equals zero. So this will solve this right here. You're solving for s. You're trying to find the value that you could plug in for s that gives you zero here. So what we want to do is just plug in these values, these variables, values, into this formula. So it would be a negative 34, because the negative comes from the formula, plus minus 34 squared, right? Minus 4 times a, which was 8, times c, which was negative 9 all over 2 times 8. Now if I try to plug this in the calculator it might not give me, I'll probably screw it up if I try to type it all into the calculator at once. Let me get my calculator. So we want to, what I would suggest you do then is you always try to simplify what's under the radical. So the part that I have highlighted in green, I'm going to put that in my calculator. I'm not going to put the, print, the uh, pa uh, radical in the calculator just yet. And then I'm going to clean this up here too as well. So I'm going to clean up. I'm going to find the, this green value and this green value. So um, 34 squared is 1156 minus, well, actually, Negative times a negative is going to be positive. So I'm just going to say negative 4 times 8 times negative 9 is a positive 288, and 2 times 8 is 16. So I'm going to show my work here is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to show my work. Let's add these two values together. I get 1444. All right, now what is this? Yeah, hopefully, I can put this square root of 1444 in, and it gives me a whole number answer, hopefully. So, square root of 1444, 38, sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you've got two, two answers in here. You work it once with the plus, and then you work it once with the minus. So here's what you get, you get two answers. Negative 34 plus 38 over 16, and uh, negative 34 minus 38 over 16. And if I plug this in my calculator, you got to make sure you do the top first, or you make sure if you're going to do it all, in, all at once, you put the top in parentheses. I'm going to do it piece by piece. I'm just going to do the top first. So the top, negative 34 plus 38 would be 4 over 16. So 4 over 16 is this guy, and 4 goes into 16 four times, so 4 goes into itself once, so that's the same thing as 1 fourth. Negative 34 minus 38. Well, 34 and 38, that's a negative 72 over 16, and 72 divided by 16. Four point five.
uh, what, as a as a fraction, maybe nine halves. So negative, negative. So the idea here is these two values are the two values you can plug in up here and get zero. So let's check it out. Let's make sure. So eight parentheses one fourth squared plus thirty four times one fourth. minus 9, 0. Awesome. The other value that should work here is a negative 4.5. Uh-oh. Oh, I did, forgot to put a negative in there. Shoot. Negative 4.5. Now I really screwed it up. Eight parentheses negative four point five squared plus thirty four times negative four point five minus nine zero. Okay, so those are the two values that you can plug in for s and get zero. And I did that using the quadratic formula. I would highly suggest that you do it in the manner that I did, where I simplify what was in green, got to here, then I took the square root of it, and got my values.